Let's take a quick look at the Move Plus tool. Okay, so what we'll do is I've got this um, basic ball here, and I'm just going to convert it to polygonal mode by hitting the Tab key. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is just make a, a quick selection, say like this little shape here. And if I come over to Translate, it's under the Modify tab, Translate, More, Move Plus. If I use the left mouse button, I can move it around just like you would expect the Move tool. Okay, So just free move. I can hold down Control and constrain it to the first axis that I start moving in. Okay, so this works very uh, much like the Move tool, <clears throat> but what you can gain with the Move Plus tool is if I use the right mouse button, we're moving along the polygon normals. Let's go into full view here. Okay, and you can see all the, the polygon normals, and as I right click, it's moving along those normals. Now, well, how can I use this? So I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit the tab key. Let's go to texture wire and I'm just going to select a shape like this. Okay. And I'm going to go over to the translate move plus tool. I'm going to hit E for extender plus and I'm just going to, I'm moving them in based on the surface normals. So they're actually going to, you know, keep the the curved shape here. Then I'm going to hit E and then I'm going to move them along their normals this way. So what I just created was this inset seam, okay? But I'm still keeping the curved shape. So it's not like um, sizing or stretching. Uh, so that's um, that's the equivalent, really. The Move Plus tool reminds me a lot of using the Move tool and Point Normal Move all rolled into one. So let's um, see it used on something other than a, a sphere. So I've got this character here, and what I'm going to do is let's come over to, say, the hand. And I'm going to just select that and drop it into another layer so we can just focus on, on that. Okay, and I'm looking at the, the fingers here and I'm going, hmm, maybe I want this hand to be a little trimmer. Okay, well, I could go in and select each hand and then go down this axis and stretch. and Or I could use um, maybe point normal move. Or maybe I want to move and, and do a, a point normal move or a, a polygon normal move. So I'm going to go over to modify, translate, move plus, And I can left click and move that hand around. Okay. Or I can right click and go really thin with the fingers. Or maybe I, I want to fatten them up. Okay, there we go. So just with the right mouse button, I'm able to move each polygon. It looks like I'm sizing, but I'm really just moving each polygon based on its polygon normal. Okay, so I can thick, thicken or fatten that. Let's, um, let's take a look at, say, um, the character's beard. Okay, so I'm just going to select some polygons here, hit Shift A to fit window. And let's let's work with this beard a little bit. So I'm going to select some of the beard. Actually, I'm going to select. I want to make sure that I'm getting some curved shapes going on in here. Okay? And let's change the the volume of this beard. So modify, translate, move plus, and I'm going to right click. I can fatten it up and it's again all those polygons are moving along their normal okay or I can trim it down nice and thin I kinda like the way it looked kinda fattening it up okay so just a quick look at the move plus tool again it's like using the move tool and uh, when you're in left mouse click uh, middle mouse click uh, is the same as holding down control and left mouse clicking and uh, if you right click it's uh, moving each polygon along its polygon normal. 